Tesla has begun rolling out its much-anticipated full self-driving Beta 9.0 software to a small group of early registrants, bringing new off-highway automated capabilities and improved visuals to their autopilot systems. Welcome to TechSpot, and in this video we will talk about the most anticipated Beta version 9 rolled out by Tesla, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's take a look at how far Tesla has progressed and what differentiates them from other self-driving cars. Self-driving vehicles were just the topic of science fiction as recently as 2004, when no participant went farther than 7.1 miles into the 142-mile route the first DARPA Grand Challenge Robocar race was generally seen as a joke. Only five teams completed the event a year following. When Tesla initially turned on its nascent autopilot technology, which could self-steer and keep a safe distance on the highway, the excitement around autonomous vehicles peaked around 2014. However, while human trainee drivers see high-speed highway driving as a daunting challenge, autonomous systems see the highway's comparatively regulated environment as low-hanging fruit. Coping with the craziness of city and backstreet driving, when anything may happen at any time and regularly does, with dangers coming in from all angles, this is the true struggle. According to Gartner's famed hype cycle, autonomous cars have fallen from the high point of overblown aspirations into the dark depths of the tube of disenchantment, which occurs when the large proportion of laypeople lose interest in a new innovation and only diehard geeks continue to care. Of course, this is usually when the truly difficult job begins. And it's something Tesla has been pondering recently. Even though many producers have satisfied themselves with pulling sheets off non-functional unmanned robopod concepts at car shows, Tesla has decided to proceed with its hotly debated strategy of getting things in normal cars as soon as possible, sticking to the motto that if the car is safer by the figures to drive than a human, then that is indeed what should be taking place. So far, it has been a lot safer. Teslas have already traveled over a billion miles on autopilot, and the data shows a very positive picture that is getting better every quarter. According to the company's 2021 car safety report in the first quarter, they reported one collision for every 4.19 million kilometers traveled in which drivers had autopilot enabled and recorded one collision for every 2.05 million miles driven by individuals driving without autopilot but with their active safety measures. They also only recorded one collision for every 978,000 kilometers driven by individuals driving without autopilot and without our active safety measures. According to the most recent data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, one car collision occurs every 484,000 miles in the United States. These numbers should be taken with a grain of salt, as autopilot is meant to relinquish control back to the driver when things get dicey. But the point remains, for a six-year-old technology, it's doing a pretty darn good job. So what's been hitting the news lately? The firm started rolling out the most major upgrade to its full self-driving, or FSD, technology. FSD version 9.0 is the very first edition of Tesla software to forego radar in favor of a pure vision system that relies only on camera vision. Radar are one of the final crutches for autonomy, Elon Musk stated in a quarter one 2021 earnings call with analysts, and they're occasionally responsible for unpleasant and perhaps hazardous errors. At present time, only around 2,000 cars on the special initial access beta testing list have received version 9. And this is still a beta release. The release notes make it clear that it should be handled with extreme care. It may make a mistake at the most inopportune time. A new mind of vehicle visualization technology is included in the system to illustrate what the vehicle sees as it navigates the streets. Objects such as vehicles, trucks, brake lights, traffic cones, lane markings, pedestrians, pets, and bicycles are represented in more detail in the new release, with brilliance and opacity utilized as visual signals to demonstrate how certain the clear vision system is that it's recognized and properly classified the objects. It does appear to be rather appealing. So, what's new about version 9 of the beta? Version 9 can now perform lane changes off-highway, choose forks to continue your navigation path, maneuver around cars and other objects, and perform left and right turns, as per the latest update. 
Tesla cars will therefore monitor drivers through cameras mounted above the rearview mirror to ensure they're keeping their attention on the road. However, these photographs do not end up leaving the vehicle itself, according to the company. That implies the system cannot save or send data unless you allow data sharing. The difference between version 8 and version 9 is huge, Elon Musk tweeted in May, and although that may be true beneath the hood, for most drivers this has been much more of a step forward. Early users say the system is getting better at navigating and driving around town, that it's fixing itself faster when it was about to make an error, that it's sneaking forward like a human operator when it can't quite see across an edge, and that it's managing critical challenges like multi-lane roundabouts unexpectedly good. Also, it's becoming better at squeezing around tight blind corners, performing admirably in foggy circumstances, and exercising proper caution near large numbers of people. Some circumstances, on the other hand, still give it the creeps, such as turning left to cross traffic into a six-lane roadway with no traffic signals. That's reasonable. Most human drivers don't like it either. It occasionally pulls too far away from a junction, and testers have to nudge it with a touch of the accelerator to remind it that it's looking for ghosts. Clearly, leaning on the side of caution is the best course of action here. It's cautious with pedestrians strolling near to the roadway on narrower streets, but it's not weakling, declining to let people in at random when it has right of way. Others are reporting more serious difficulties, such as one man who claims the system continuously tries to drive him directly into the line of high-speed traffic, and that if he'd let the car do what it wanted, he'd have been t-boned a half dozen times already. So don't confuse version 9 with a fully functional level 5 autonomous vehicle. Anyone operating this build needs to be very alert. Use full self-driving in restricted beta only if you pay constant attention to the road and are prepared to respond quickly, especially at blind corners, crossing crossroads, and in narrow driving conditions, the release notes stated. There's no news yet on when V9 will be available to a larger number of US drivers or when it will be available in other countries. Elon Musk, on the other hand, has said that by the end of the year the system will be ready for level 5, Hands off, eyes up, feet up on the dash, nap. Of course though, Elon Musk is notorious for being a tad overconfident when it comes to Tesla's goals. CJ Moore, Tesla's head of autopilot software, isn't satisfied and neither is the DMV. Moore appears to have some ambitious goals in mind before deeming it ready, one to two million kilometers of driving between human involvements. Observing these early beta testers, that does not feel near. It appears like the period of the human driver is coming to a close with a succession of whimpers rather than a bang. It's the nature of beta testing very complicated software in the actual world, especially when it has real-world safety consequences. Musk tweeted on July 25th that several improvements coming via 9.1 on Friday night at midnight in a latest issue. It appears that we may expect upgrades and enhancements like these forever in the future. Tesla's vehicles are continuously updated and improved via over-the-air software upgrades and the current focus appears to be on the FSD beta, which makes perfect sense. Tesla's FSD system has experienced several delays. Musk has acknowledged that the process has been far more difficult than he had anticipated. Tesla also opted to eliminate radar from its cars in favor of an AI-based pure vision method, which appears to prolong the process even further. Several FSD Beta 9 customers have commented that Tesla's Pure Vision method has increased the confidence of the full self-driving suite compared to prior versions, which still utilize data from both cameras and radar. Phantom braking occurrences, for example, are said to have decreased. Of course, this isn't to imply that FSD Beta 9 is flawless, but based on comments from many program participants, Tesla's Pure Vision method appears to be a decisive step towards autonomous driving. And that's it for today's video, guys. Do share this with your friends and family, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching this video till the end, and we will see you again in the next one.